What's up there, Ziders, and welcome back for another YouTube movie review. In the previous videos, I told you all of you that I'm gonna go and watch Madame Web, and holy moly, I watched it, and this is my reaction. As you can see, I didn't like it very much, so it. It has some great moments, but it also has not twists, like the script wasn't even written good, first of all. Let's begin. I think it's gonna be a long review for sure, but let's begin. So basically, Sony Pictures has again attempted to develop a film series of its own based on the similar characters ever since the company made a contact to have the Spider-Man join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Madame Web is the most recent movie addition to this franchise, um, which is like Venom and Morbius, which is based on a character um, that was first established in connection with the Spider-Man in the Marvel comics, but however, due to Sony's agreement with Marvel Studios, it has to make up for Peter Parker's absence which this entails sort of adding for more people, which are spider people in the modern webs universe for this instance. Wait, I will talk for sure. The main cast, let's focus on the main cast. The, ma the main character of modern web, as we saw, was Cassandra, which is K Cassie Webb, which there's Dakota Johnson. If you don't know who is Dakota Johnson, she is like from the Fifty Shades of Grey, I remember her, um, which in this movie she plays a researcher's daughter who she was passed away in the Amazon after being shot and giving birth to Cassie. Uh, following a heart stopping accident, Cassie gains psychic abilities that bring her into contact with three little teenagers. Um, um, Ezekiel Sims um, uh, is a man that has great abilities which are derived from the spider's casing mother that studied which is pursuing the, those three girls which are julia cornwell which plays sydney sweeney anya corazon which is isabel mercent and matty franklin which is Celeste o'connor he has a vision that they are gonna kill him in the future not a vision because he sees the future he sees the future and he saw that they are gonna kill him in the future but i will go further on so yes, Ezekiel decides to kill the three females first because obviously he is thinking that he is gonna kill him. But later on we see that he don't be he doesn't be killed from the three ladies, but I will explain. Let's focus on the script. The script of Madame Webb was written by Claire Parker, Matzelzma, Bark Sharpless, which written Morbius and Gods of Egypt, and the director is Samuel J. Clarkson. It is, it is not Amy Pascal or John Watts or Kevin Feige. Um, uh, it is full of dialogue that it is excessively exploratory and has lines that seem odd and out of place, even when they are said by the film's major performance. Um, indeed, there are times when Cassie's cor corny comments like such Hope the spiders were worth it, mom. Sound like less moans and more like accidental number because to Johnson's district dry tone. Um, Rahim's portrayal of Ezekiel is a basset with even more absurd dialogue, which ultimately reduces him to something more like a one dimensional parody of a villain from a Marvel than a completely formed character. Uh, similarly, instead of being full realized characters, the three spider guests. Sydney, Isabel, and Matty um, are, are the intelligent ones. Julia is, um, being the awkward girl next door, which is Sydney, which is a little more than their backstory, spotting three classes of teenage girlhood. Um, even in this instance where they, where they are supposed to be developed a dynamic, uh, there's no strong chemistry, and they're only given tasks that it make it harder for Cassie to protect them. For me, there were no real standouts in the Madame Web cast, though it's not necessarily, obviously, the fault of the characters. It's not their fault. The characters, the actors were great, but in this instance, the movie was trash. 
it's not trash. Uh, I will explain it more. Um, in, a, in fact, in a brief sequence, the girls get along much more quickly with Adam's squad character, which is Bam Parker. I don't know why. <laughs> And then they do with Johnson Cassie. Um, overall, the Madam Web assemble lacks of any true stars, although this is entirely the performer's fault because it doesn't seem like anybody could pull off the terrible writing. Um, um, Madam Web and Spider Man have the most, uh, how you say it, peculiar connection out of all the Spider Man universe films that have been produced by Sony, including Venom, Venom Let There Be Carnage, and Morbius. Uh, Madame Web is always winking and prodding the viewers about the Spider-Man, while Venom and Morbius mostly pretend that he didn't exist. The fact that the three people in the film are reduced to supporting those despite becoming Spider-Man incarnations, it makes it worse. Um, though it's still not as true Spider-Man film, Madame, Wex, Madame Web makes a definite attempt to be one uh, and is more successful from the Spider-Man uh, Sony Universe production. Um, but yes, sadly, Madame Webb demonstrates just how challenging it is to convey the Spider-Man day without Peter Parker himself, um, especially since the original world building is at best flimsy and manufactured. Um, Madame Webb somehow manages to simplify and make the idea of gaining abilities from the radioactive spider that, it, that bites seem more realistic. Uh, Marvel Comics certainly has no shortage of absurd storylines, but the history of Cassie Webb and her abilities in Madame Webb, which is laughably absurd. Um, um, Madame Webb is unable to compensate for the obvious absence of Spider-Man, not even in the presence of the Spider-Man in the film. Um, we are made to be fully uh, submerged in Cassie's abilities by through disorientation with, with which Clarkson reminds her her glimpse of the future. Uh, this effect could be more effective for people who are unaware with Madame Webb's abilities because it might be a little aggravating and uh, at times, especially for those who are already aware of them. Um, several of the spider people like Ezekiel Sims are also shown in the manner by Clarkson which occasionally gives the film a highly dynamic appearance. Uh, nevertheless, it would be difficult to characterize the cinematography as intriguing due to the action sequences, gloomy darknesses, and disorientation cutting. Um, um, ultimately, Madame Web is a rather thin film, even for films for the Sony Mar Marvel films. Madame Web, like Venom and Morbius, has the peculiar appearance of a superhero film from the early 2000s. In fact, Madame Web is took place in 2003 in New York, even though the story is set in that era. Uh, while Madame Web is one of the very few superhero films featuring female superheroes, Venom manages to remain entertaining, mostly because of the Tom Hardy skills in capturing the bond between Andy Brock and his extraordinary symbiote. Um, um, overall, Madame Web is a superhero film that, for me, you are gonna waste your money if you are gonna wa watch it. Yes, basically, I told you also that I will explain how he died. Basically, he didn't die with the girls. He died by Dakota Johnson, Cassie, killing him. Not killing him. Because there weren't, like, yes, there were a few deaths, which was the mother. And the, the imagination of Ezekiel Sims and uh, Madame Webb future. So... Um, uh, the CGI wasn't that good, although there were some screen effects and like that that were good, but uh, mostly it wasn't like you can say that it is wow. Um, uh, yes, the costumes, the costumes. This was a little bit disappointing for sure, as we saw in the trailer. Since Sweeney, Isabel, and Matty wore the costumes of the Spider People costumes, um, um but. Spoiler alert, they are not even for two minutes in the film. They are not even for two minutes of the film. We went like, we are gonna watch them with the costumes, fighting with the costumes, but not less. We, we saw them fighting with the costumes, but in Madame web uh, brain in the future. So, yeah, it they are not like a two minutes 
in the movie, the costumes. Um, um, I feel pity for the actors. In fact, Dakota Johnson already said that she still has not watched the movie yet. I don't know when she is gonna watch it, but she still has not watched the movie yet. Um, um, even the people that I, I was with the crowd, um, uh, they were annoyed about the movie. Um, um, I suggest you, if you still want to go and check it out, for sure go check it out. But I suggest you that you are gonna waste your money to go and watch Madame Web. Even on Rotten Tomatoes, it is like a 12% and 56% audience score. While Morbius already surpassed it, Morbius was 15% and Madame Web is 12%. I don't know how it is gonna surpass it. Will there be a Madame Web 2? I don't know. We need to see at the box office if it hits. It already did like a 67 million, 67 million profit, which the box office had a 100 million. So we can see that there will be second Madam Web, but we don't know. Um, uh, never say never. We don't know what the future holds. Uh, as a rate, okay, as a rate, I don't know what I'm gonna give it exactly. Look, as a rate, I give it a 4 or a 5 out of 10. As I said, yes, the CGI was not that good, but also it was a little bit good. But the script was literally awful. The story was good, the story, but it didn't have like great moments or, or like that. It had laughable moments, which that is the sense of humor of the movie uh, which made it more realistic and like that but i don't know i give it like a four or five out of ten even when i heard the article basically if you don't know madame webb andrew garfield was in madame webb in the post credits of madame webb um, but then sony realized that they messed up big time in the time and they reshooted the whole movie I don't know why did they do it like that, but they should do the whole movie. Even the fact that, that Ben Parker have a baby, we don't know. In the Sony Spider-Man universe, it has a baby. And also, I forgot, they really messed up this big quote that we hear it from the Spider-Man. So basically, so basically, from the Spider-Man universe, we hear, with great power comes great responsibility. You know how Madame Webb saw, said it. With responsibility comes great power. Oh my god, man. And even they got um, in the last scene, um, in the final part, when we see her, she covered her eyes, Madame Webb. She sees the future. Sydney Sweeney fighting in the building of Toby, Univer to Toby Maguire Universe. I don't know. But yeah, that's what uh, all I had to say for this issue. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I suggest you do don't go watch it if you want to go and watch it. And you want to say, fuck it, I go watch it. I give it a try. But you're gonna waste for the money. But yes, um, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully I will do more if I, I will do more reviews. Not hopefully I will do more reviews as a as a, as a promise. But I don't think that this week I do, because uh, there are no more movies to watch right now. And also, if the Kung Fu Panda 4 trailer drops, which I highly doubt right now that it is not going to drop, because we are less than one week away, we are like six days from releasing. Unfortunately, yes, I'm going to watch it on 29th March or like in the Easter holidays. Um, and also I will watch Godzilla X Kong and I will give you a review. But we will see. Thank you guys for watching. And if you, uh, as I say, usually if you have few, uh, more friends, suggest them to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my videos. Really means so much to me. Thank you guys. Sorry for the long review, but it had to be done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you for subscribing. Hope you have the hope you have the rest of the day a good day. And Nate McAuliffe here from 
reviews by and I'm insiders signing off bye bye insiders bye bye